Hi everyone, Paul Santizzi here with a very special edition of Higher Vibrations. I wanted to make this video and talk about something personal that I usually don't bring up and that's overcoming or accepting tragedies and emotional pain. But before that, I just want to remind you of how able, awesome, and amazing you are. That no matter where you are in life, I want you to really grasp, I want you to really grasp that you hit the universal jackpot, okay? You hit the grand prize of it all. You hit the grand prize of existence. You are a human being. You are a human being with a mind that is more powerful than any computer will ever be. And you have an amazing emotional system that, when understood, allows you to become the most powerful transmitter and receiver of energy and frequencies in all of the universe, especially when it comes to creation and manifestation. Now, look, life can be difficult, real difficult at times. I know. And each time you you feel bad or you recall tragedies or anything that triggers emotional pain. It's your ability to create your future that takes the energetic hit. Now, myself, I've gone through some pretty horrific things in my life. When I was 12 years old, I asked my dad if I could go to work with him one day, and it was a cold winter day, and every time I asked him, he said yes. He never said no. And on this day, he looked at me and he said, not today. And I can remember looking up at him and asking, why? And he looked at me and he said, I don't know, as he walked out the door. And that was the last time I ever saw him again. You see, he was killed in a car accident that night by an 18-year-old kid who was going 85 miles an hour in the middle lane as my dad was taking a left turn to come home. And come to find out, this kid was mad because he had to stay an extra 15 minutes at work that day. So, look, no matter what you have gone through or what you are going through, I want you to know right now that I'm sending you, 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 my energetic support, encouragement, empathy, and love. And trust me when I say that everything will be just fine and that everything will always work out to your advantage. Now, it may not seem like that now, far from it, right? But whatever it is that you're dealing with, it will turn out in the end to be a complete blessing somehow. And I know some of you are saying, no, no, no way, Paul. Not with, not with what I had to deal with, the pain, the loss, the suffering. Look, I know how difficult it might seem right now, but I can assure you that sooner than later, new thoughts, people, opportunities, and emotions, and desires, will present themselves to you and they will create things to happen in your life that you couldn't wish for and that you could that you can't explain and maybe in one month six months or five years from now you will look back on this day and you will say wow I'm so blessed that I had to go through that experience to to become who I have become Listen to me when I say there is nuggets of wisdom in every experience. You see, I accepted long ago that I would be a fatherless kid. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm happy about it or glad that it happened with who I've become. No, it hurts. And it hurts a lot every day. And if you were to ask me, if you were to say, Paul, if you could have one thing in life, anything, what would it be? Folks, my answer would be instant. It would be to
to have a dad. But I was chosen to experience this tragedy for bigger reasons, bigger and bigger and beyond what I know. Just like many of you have gone through similar losses and they're for reasons bigger than we will ever understand. So take no offense when I tell you to stop trying to figure out why it happened. Stop consuming yourself with why me, why me, why me? And stop holding on to the resentment and the anger towards others for what they caused you to have to live with. Because I'll tell you, it's nothing but a huge waste of time, energy, and your existence. Again, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. And it sucks. And I agree with you 100%. And I know you don't want to hear it like this, but it's 100% the truth. If you want to live and to create a life full of purpose and gratitude, instead, bring yourself to the place where you're able to at least acknowledge it. Because acknowledgement, folks, acknowledgement is the energetic release. When you can do that, then you'll be open to feel. You'll be open to listen to yourself from the inside, to know that you and I are creators of our reality. With, with how we allow ourselves to, to feel and to view things from in here. And when you can observe yourself from a vantage point of curiosity, wonder, and knowingness, then you can gain clarity on what events and circumstances had to happen in your life in order to make us who we are today. Again, I'm not saying that it's easy. It's not easy. And it's, it's, it's one of the hardest things for people to do. And for me, it was hard. But this is the energetic cure to your pain and suffering. This is, this is the secret. And many of you will refuse to listen to what I'm saying. And watching me right now, you're getting mad. And you're getting mad at me. And that's 100% fine because I'm speaking to you from real life personal experience and I'm teaching you what I learned and what I applied to overcome and to persevere through tragedy. You don't have to live in emotional pain each day and let what you went through keep consuming your soul. You see, far too many people take a tragedy and they turn it into an excuse to need things like head meds or, and then they become a drug addict or an alcoholic in order to cope with the pain. Maybe some of them commit crimes or they never utilize their, their strengths and abilities because they say things like they can't handle society with what they went through. Listen, pay attention to what I'm about to say. I went to middle school with two other kids whose parent also died the same year that my dad did. Now, they both did okay in middle school until we got to high school, but then they both went on to become complete heroin addicts and career criminals. And I think, I think one of them is dead now, which is sad because he was a great kid and he was a, a spectacular athlete. And the other one, well, she had her kids taken away a long time ago. In life, folks, everything is a choice and everything is a decision that only you can make. When something bad happens in your life, you have a choice and you have a decision to make. You can either, you can either use what happened as an excuse to justify your actions and your addictions and your your mental instability and your problems and allow that event to consume you and to have 100% control over your life because it will. Because you'll always have a reason to justify your own behavior towards yourself or others or, or why you can't do anything or, 
or you can acknowledge it, acknowledge it, and use that event for your own mental clarity and empowerment, and use that event to empower who you are and who you want to become. Now, like I keep saying, I'm not saying this is easy because it's not. It's not easy. It's damn hard. And it's much easier to choose the victim route. And, and I, completely, I completely understand why so many people give up and they become their own victim of circumstance. I really do. And going through a tragedy, it's nothing that I wish on anyone ever. I wish no one has to ever experience it. But many of us have and many of us will. Whether it's a parent, it's a child, a pet, a friend, or a stranger. In the moments of intense emotional pain, there is a decision to make. There is a decision to make that will affect the course of your future that only you can make. And it's to either become the victim of that circumstance or for you to be in 100% control of your future. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, based on my own personal experience, that it can be done. We can all do this. You see, I could have chosen the path of my two other friends. We went to the same school. We had the same experience. We had access to the same substances, right? But I chose to love myself. And I'll share with you this story. And I've, I've never shared this story with anyone, ever. And I still have the handwritten letter that I wrote to God, the universe, source, whatever you want to call it, when I was 12 years old. And I wrote this shortly after my father was killed. And in that letter, I wrote, if you want to take a parent from me, then you will give back to me what I ask for without question. That was the agreement we made in that letter. And I have always asked for myself to have great dynamic health, and I have. And I've always asked for others to feel good about themselves, to, to feel loved and appreciated, and to feel all the missing voids of parental emotions that I never got to experience by having a loving, caring, and supportive dad in my life that I once had. Look, let me just tell you like it is. You are amazing and you are a winner. You are a champion and you have what it takes. And like we talked about, you hit the universal jackpot. You hit the universal jackpot. You are a living, breathing human being. And without you and your ability to observe, I do not exist. So I want to personally thank you for being you. I truly believe in and I appreciate you and you are worthy of it all. And I know, I know how able and capable you are. So appreciate yourself. Look forward to tomorrow and make that decision to become the best possible version of yourself for yourself. And take your mental shovel, take a mental shovel and begin to move around all the piles of negative emotional pain in your mind. Acknowledge it all, and you will uncover the nuggets of gold that are there waiting to be discovered. And once you discover one nugget of gold, keep digging and digging and digging and digging. Believe me, trust me. You will find another, and another, and another, and another, and another. And before long, you'll be mentally rich, full of self-worth, self-love, and appreciation for yourself. That is the moment. That is the shining moment that you'll become your own source of inspiration and positive influence to others. You see, my intention and genuine desire for you to be, do, and have everything and anything in life that you desire. It's beaming so strong right now. And I know many of you can feel it right here. No matter where you are in life, what you are going through, or what you have gone through, I want you to know, I want you to know, just know, 
that Santisi has your back 100%. And I encourage you to share this video with someone who needs to hear this message because many people do. Post it everywhere. Take the link and share it. And together, let's assist the masses. And I'm sure that this video opened many eyes, many hearts and souls to all the wonderful possibilities of life that you chose to come forth to experience in this magical game called life. Also, keep listening to the hundreds of hours worth of audios and videos and guided meditations and audio courses and training courses and programs that are available to anyone and they're all for free on YouTube. As each one will expand your expand your understanding, your confidence, your abilities and vibration in wonderful ways. And they will remove more and more negative blocks from your energy field. Like I said, share this video with anyone that you feel can benefit from its message. This is Paul Santisi. Have a great day, everyone. And I thank you for watching. You know I love ya.